Hello, this is David D. Hilcher. I'm a critical thinker, science dissident, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science. Something your university professor won't tell you, the mass media won't tell you, and certainly those sciences evangelists won't tell you. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics, and I'm just going to talk about this topic, and that's called physicality. Physics is full of non-physicality. There's so much stuff there that isn't anything, and we have to understand that. We don't have a model for that. Oh, my father and I do. Um, other people don't have a model for that. And that is mainstream science. And even a lot of dissident scientists, people who are critical thinkers coming up with their new models, they don't have models for a lot of things that they talk about or they build arbitrary things. But we're going to talk about physicality. Let's start with gravity. Gravity is caused by in. Mainstream science, space-time, the curvature of space-time. Well, space-time is not a rubber sheet. And, and you notice how they call it the fabric of space-time sometimes, and sometimes they call it space-time. Or they call it the fi fabric of time or the fabric of space. So they get mixed up, and they, don't, they themselves have to try to put something in their physical. That's what the fabric is. But what is the fabric? Well... I've talked to friends who are very smart friends of mine, and they think that math is physical. It is not a physical. Math is a system. It's a system we've invented, the real number systems. You don't believe that? Read somebody like Peter Erickson, who's a pure mathematician. You'll find out real number systems, they're not the best. They work pretty well, but there are a lot of problems with it, too. Regardless, it's not math is not physicality. I had a friend of mine say tensor equations are real things. It's a real thing in the universe. Tensor equations that, that describe uh, the geometry of space-time according to general relativity. It isn't. I think most people know that. I may be speaking to the choir. And by the way, thank you all your new subscribers. I appreciate you subscribing. The, the, my number of subscribers keeps growing, and I do appreciate your support. Gravity. Forget it. Space-time isn't real. We got to come up with something. There was a graviton. There was a corpuscle. Um, there are other people trying to get other ideas as part of electric field. But electric fields, what are they? That's another problem. A lot of people say, well, gravity could be electric, like the people in the electric universe. What's a field? What's charge? Charge are arbitrary. You know who first invented charge? Charge was invented plus and minus by... Benjamin Franklin, one of my great heroes, one of our heroes of science, amazing scientist, politician, philosopher, everything. And I guess he was good with the ladies too. But that's another story. But he is a was credited for putting plus and minus. So you put a plus on this particle and a minus on this particle, put a plus on a on, on a proton, put a minus on neg on a negatron, <laughs> an electron. And they attract. Why? Well, because it's positive and it's negative. Why? What is it? It's an arbitrary way for us to say those things attract. Does it mean it functions that way? No. Are there people with other models that can can describe the universe while charged? Yes. How many? Probably only one, but I'm personally familiar with it. But, again, charge in field. You'll hear dissidents, people who are outside the mainstream, talk about fields, in fields, in fields. They have to be real. There's got to be something there. Light. Light are photons. So, yeah, it's photons. What do they look like? What's their shape? What's their size? Oh, no, but they're a wave. Well, how can it be a particle and a wave? Yeah, you get the particle-wave duality. It acts like a wave, acts like a particle. Particle-wave duality. Can't solve that problem. Oh, my dad solved it in 2015. That's another story. I'm talking about the physicality. So light, what do, what do dissonant people do in our, in our group? We have lots of etherists. What are etherists? They say that light is through a medium called ether. And there are a lot of, that's a better model than what we have. Absolutely. It's, it has a lot of problems, ether models. But they're better than, they are trying. They're out there trying it. They're trying to, to describe ether, light as a, something through a physical medium. P applause to them. They're trying better than what we have, which is, Nothing. Again, 
We don't have physicality. Well, it's a wave. Well, what's that? A wave of what? Well, etherists say a wave in the ether. People, other people say something else. That's what we have a, a different model. Um, particle physics. This is probably the most egregious place where we have no physicality. I, you can see right next to here, I just went to Google Images. Oh, no, this is Yahoo Images. Uh, Google, Yahoo, they're all doing the same. And I looked up quarks. We don't have really any physicality for the atom in general. We say this is where the electron prob probability should be. This is where the proton and neutron are. We don't know how they're really arranged in the atom. We have the SPDF orbitals, if you know about that. But we just don't have any physicality for that either. We say there's an electron. It's the size, this radius. What's it made of? Quarks. What are quarks? Well, if you look down here, these are the pictures of quarks we get. Um, there, there are some right here. You see these? They're basically circles like this with other circles in them. That's not physical. That's a picture. I'm an artist. I can draw too. But just because we draw beautiful pictures and make amazing graphics on the Discovery Channel, on the Science Channel, and on at Geo, and we make beautiful movies about these scientists, doesn't make it real. You know what? I am talking for the majority of humankind. You know why? Because it's the very small minority that believe in this mumbo jumbo. If you ask the average person, they go, yeah, quarks, yeah, they say it's made of quarks. What's the fit? They ask the same question, what is it? What's it made of? What's the size? What's the shape? How does it work? How come they come together? Why? A third of a charge? Charge is already arbitrary. It goes to show you charge is arbitrary because quarks have a third of a charge. So you take it and it's got a one out of fourth or instead of 0 0.3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 5, 2. It's all arbitrary. It's all arbitrary. It means nothing. It's, there's no physicality. There's no physicality. As Dr. Alexander Unsker, who I say a thousand times over, watch his stuff. Particle physics are a bunch of arbitrary packages. He calls them packages. He doesn't even call them particles. He's right. A package is just an idea. Yeah, it could be a package. could be uh, it's made out of paper. But no, it's just a it's a group of stuff of arbitrary arbitrary say that fast arbitrary attributes. The reality you can actually make that even smaller and just say it's arbitrary attributes. It's something. It's a it's a package of arbitrary attributes. It's a group of those. You know, upness, downness. My father spent half spin. Think about it, folks. The, what's a half spin mean? It spins halfway and stops. But if it's spin, it's spinning. So how could it be a half a spin? Because you can't. What? It's my father was one of my hero scientists now. I mean, he was just my dad, and he was always uh, a role model to look up to, but he is an amazing scientist, and that's one of his favorite, half spin. So what do we have? We don't know what light is. We don't know what gravity is. We don't know what magnetic fields are. We have no idea what the f physical f makeup really of atoms is. We have some orbitals that seem to work, but we have no idea to be like. Quarks are little little circles and other circles. Um, then we have the Higgs. It goes on and on and on. We have the field. In the dis All my dissident friends out there, you're using fields, electric universe. I applaud you for coming up in alternative ideas, especially in the cosmos. There's a lot of great ideas out there, but you still are passing all the magic to your fields and all the magic to arbitrary things called charge. You can, you can say no, but words aren't magic. Just because you say them doesn't make them real. So, is the, is the world of physics today, mainstream physics, physical? almost nothing and that's why most people don't end up being physics physicists because they get frustrated and they want to become engineers and do something real like my dad he was electrical engineer he made stuff real but there are new part mar models out there Oops, i almost said particle model there are new models out there that give physicality to everything actually there's two models that do that one i think that's even better than the other but that's another story. So it's not the case that I'm sitting here blowing smoke and saying, blah, blah, blah. we got some answers. Yeah, yeah. We want to be famous? No, it has nothing to do with fame. It has to do with wanting to know what the heck this universe is. So get over it. Remember, 
Like I always say, don't take what anyone says on faith. Don't take all these models as physical. They're not models. They're theories. They're math. Stay critical. Stay thinking. I'm Dave DeHilster, your science therapist, and I will cure you. And you will have a friend that you're not the only one thinks this is all mumbo-jumbo. Ciao for now.